that. If I did, I would uh, be the subject of abuse and uh, targeted by people who would be uh, rather clever, rather insulting, and uh, trying to promote a Microsoft uh, advocacy agenda um, at the expense of me. And I laughed it off. I thought these people were mad. I thought they were making it up. I thought half of them were fantasists or writing abusive comments to themselves to try and make themselves look victims. And then when I started writing, it took a few months, but after a few months, I was the victim of exactly the same thing I've been told about. Now, I remember about a year later when I met Roy, um, Roy was telling me some of the things that had happened to him, and I thought, oh, that'll never happen to me. Roy was just unlucky, because by then I'd experienced a bit of trouble uh, from these type of people. But uh, and, and never to the scale of the, the problems that Roy's had, where some horrendous lies have been put onto the, onto the internet about him, and Google's been seen with some very, very nasty, uh, completely untrue, uh, allegations against him. And then I find I'm self, in myself in the same position um, about a year later. So it's um, if, if ever anybody's interested, there'll be a lot of people who aren't, um, but I'd recommend you get yourself to Google Groups and you can access the, uh, a lot of the Usenet uh, news groups uh, from Google Groups. And the one in particular is uh, Compost Linux Advocacy. And that's a very good example. You have a, a very, very regular um, group of Microsoft advocates slash trolls who have been in this news group for 15 years uh, doing this type of thing to Linux users, insulting them. Uh, there's no real rules. If you get a chance to, just have a look at some of the comments. They do it in other websites as well, but very often they get their accounts terminated. Well, nice uh, because they, they exploit using it for being open so nobody would throw them out for obviously being extremely over the line. So. I mean, the, I'll say the nice thing, that's probably the wrong word, but the, the good thing about um, when they post in the news groups is that especially, they all seem to migrate around the Cola uh, area, or compost Linux actors. And it's a good place just to get a brief overview of what these people are doing. If you look back over the last few months, you can see the types of behaviours that, that they engage in. Um, they'll be homophobic, they'll be racist, they, also any sort of insult, uh, there's nothing too low for these people. And Anything to get the sight of the filter, either the mental filter or the physical filter. Uh, it could be necrophilia, it can be pictures of uh, douche, a anything. Basically to try and turn people off. Like I said, they used to do it in other forums, but they get kicked out. So in case you wonder why this is the sole example, this is this is what happens when you have absolutely no moderation. Um, and also it's handy for them because they can see Google with all these little allegations and uh, and slanderous little uh, rants of theirs that they make. And it, it does see Google. I mean, I, I remember Roy, uh, recently I, I typed in your name because I was looking for some of the uh, earlier shots of us with, um, with tech bytes. And... Uh, I come across all sorts of horrendous things in a Google search. Um, now, somebody who didn't know you and maybe was just browsing through wouldn't know what was what you know what was true, and what wasn't. Um, there's so much stuff in there, and this is their whole purpose. And this is why they're very keen to identify people's surnames because once they do that, they can then see Google with their load of allegations. I won't mention his name because that is, it wouldn't be fair on him. But there's another chap in in Cola who uh, has been named until he gives his own name. And uh, they even make all sorts of allegations about him using his full name, which just seems not several, them, not just one person. Yeah, this, I mean, the, the it's a very systematic idea. It's not very blatant yeah. about it, and that's the purpose to try and uh, ridicule the person or to cause ridicule. Um, and it's it's just a form of retaliation of trying to hurt the person's, not just the person's feelings, but um, I'm, I'm which is. For them. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I when I receive that type of uh, threat or um, or challenge, it sends me the other way. Instead of silencing me, it actually makes me do more than I would have done exactly. normally, exactly. and spurs me on. So it, yeah. it's really done me a favour. I don't think I would have um, made the time to come back on the show so quickly if I hadn't been for this last few weeks of the uh, the trolls activity in the uh, in newsnet. Um, I've got a lot of stuff on in my uh, in my private life. Uh, a lot of family trips we're doing at the moment as well. So um, I've made the time around uh, purely, I think, spurred on um, quicker because of the uh, of, of the recent actions in uh, in Usenet. So uh, I should really thank them for that. But uh, anyway, I'm not quite sure how we got onto the topic of those. Uh, and I use the word very loosely, people. But I think it's a very relevant thing. But uh, yeah. we were talking about the UK and we we're talking about dirty tactics. And uh, uh, yeah. since we have mentioned uh, dirty tactics and talking about the UK in specific. Um, 
There is a bit of a, a news thing that I was writing about in my, in my streets, on my Android tablet, actually. Um, there's a report about a so-called alliance, I'll just call it collusion. Uh, Microsoft and Intel seem to be very upset that uh, schools are getting the Raspberry Pi. And they're also getting all sorts of tablets that are running Android, and of course they don't run Intel chips. They actually don't run x86 at all, they're running ARM chips. So Intel and Microsoft have got this so-called discount, you know, saving the poor students and trying to help the little kids. Uh, and they've got this like 20-something percent discount, and they're trying to, you know, foist this bloody heavy, overpowered, I wouldn't say overpowered, but I would say over, uh, um, resource, you know, over-consuming uh, machines that, that would cost a lot of money and would cause all sorts of issues for the students, for example, the dependency on Windows and Office and things like that. Uh, and they're really going hard against the Linux solutions in the schools. Of course, Intel and Microsoft are both sort of monopolists and, and not behaving nicely. And this reminded me so much of the OLPC situation where you had the AMD chips and the uh, Linux operating system that's closely related back in the days to Fedora. And they basically see education going for the low cost options with the eth- more ethical, I'd call them ethical chips, you know, from a mm-hmm. company that's actually trying to develop its business and doesn't sell them for a very high price and trying to sell you a very overclock device that takes a lot of battery power. Uh, and they're trying to just, you know, doing the same old thing, trying to push office on students. Uh, very young kids and, and saying that, you know, oh, we are doing some charity where this wonderful two corporations and don't worry about any of this stuff and just forget about this British company that's making the Raspberry Pi and, you know, buy from those American companies instead. Um, so, so it seems like it's OLPC all over again. Once again, Intel and Microsoft are doing that. Well, might, might probably to the uh, disappointment of many. Um, I'm using quite a lot of the uh, of Google um, facilities now, um, purely because they're very, very convenient. And for me, the uh, it's something I need at the moment. So I need something convenient. I need it quick, and I need it to be reliable. Um, and I've been using the Google Docs, and it's absolutely fantastic uh, for me. I can't see why for the average user of a Office suite. Um, Anybody needs anything more than Google Docs, which is obviously provided by Google. Obviously, um, I was the collaboration, the collaboration of um, of your documents is absolutely fantastic. I can sync, well, not sync it, I can, can basically simultaneously edit it. Yeah, actually, edit it, and I can also have it on multiple machines in my home. And I was doing this the other day where I was editing it upstairs, and the wife was watching it and was editing and updating in real time downstairs on the netbook. Um, I know it's a bit of a gimmick, and it's probably not really. I can only, it's only me that edits those documents, since the wife wouldn't have much of a, a point to edit them. But it's just just the fact that it was, uh, yeah, it was just a bit of a novelty factor. But for me, Google Docs is fantastic. The Google Drive, I mean, five gigabytes is very handy for all my little configuration files. And it's not all... only handy for you. <laughs> it's handy for more. I have a lot. I, I wrote an article about it. You, uh, uh, we probably should... you see, my, my, my config files are nothing, nothing private anyway. Um, and there's, there's nothing in those that's, that would come as a surprise to anybody. And I can throw them up there. So now I've got, them. for example, my signature as well um, for Usenet and for my emails. I've stuck a copy in there because you can guarantee I'll put a new operating system on at some point and I'll forget to take off all that sort of stuff and I'll have to type my TIG out again, and all this sort of thing. So, and I've got co- copies of all my um, my bookmarks as well from the browsers and I just can throw them on there and forget about them until you know, maybe I have to want to reinstall a, a, different type, a different Linux distro and I've got it all ready for me and just log on and download it back again. So it's, it's very handy. Um, and also for, for the... Um, for sharing that, those particular files with my relatives as well. Um, Google Drive works out very nicely for that. Um, I know you've got Ubuntu One, which people frown at, and I know there's uh, Dropbox as well, but I've got no real reason to sync my files to my locally to my hard disk. I just purely want a cloud storage device to throw this stuff on so I know it's safe. I know the kids can't get their hands on the disk and snap it, and I know that the hard disk won't fail and I won't be able to recover yeah. it. Oh, I want, so it's quite good. I, I want to mention the drawbacks just before. I mean, mm. I use uh, Google Docs at work. Not mm. not my choice. 
Mm -hmm. We've been deploying it in some clients' computers. Um, but I'm aware always of the of the direction things are uh, taken. Mm. Uh, and if you look at things from a different point of view, in the past you wouldn't trust your neighbor to store your...